what's going on guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to be replacing the brake pads and rotors on my 97 mitsubishi mirage de coupe aka the lab rat and while i'm in there i'm also going to be using some rust-oleum high heat paint so i can paint the calipers as well so before any of that first things first i'm going to go ahead and put some wheel stops behind the rear tires and i'm also going to set the e-brake after that, I'm just going to go ahead and just uh, lift up the car and remove the wheels. Okay, so here I have a wheel spacer and since the tool to remove the lug nuts off the wheels doesn't fit in here, I'm going to use a socket. I'm going to use a socket, this is 19 on a half inch drive. And for leverage, I'm going to use a pipe as a cheater bar. And here are the brake pads. There was nothing left. Let's see the back one.
and the bolts on there is just rusted. All right, so just a quick recap right here. Uh, first things first was to remove the brake caliper. Uh, so that one had two bolts right here. One of them was a 14 and the other one is a 17 millimeters. And that's just the way it is on the bracket. Just one is uh, bigger than the other. Uh, so remove the bracket and here are the brake pads. You can see how they were already worn out completely. It's just a bit of pad left on this side. Same thing goes for the back side. Uh, just a bit of pad. And here it's completely worn out. Uh, for the rotor, uh, first thing you need to remove the caliper bracket right here. And it has two 17s from the back side. So just remove those and the bracket comes off. After that, I had to use the hammer just to, to tap it a bit because the rust right here was just holding it on in place it had no bolts so it's just a rust so tapped it with the hammer and it came off you can see some of the surface scratches right here and on the other side as well so uh, also a little bit rusted uh, so the reason that I let these just go for that long was because I was really interested in getting some drilled and slotted rotors for the car. Uh, I searched everywhere online and you know no matter how good or fair the deal was they were just not meant for the car. Um, right here these rotors right here they have a uh, 9.29 inches in diameter. Uh, it's a 236 millimeters and the ones online were just slightly bigger at 256 millimeters or 10.08 inches in diameter uh, so they were not going to fit they were just going to scratch either on the bracket or on the caliper so they were not meant for this car uh, so next up was I decided to go back and just get the original ones for now at least uh, original rotors OEM style and I searched here at my local auto parts and they didn't have them in stock so I had to order them and um, if I had to order them I was gonna get the better deal so I went on Amazon and I found these uh, now these they do have the part number 31133 so same part as the local auto parts here uh, and if we get this one and place it next to the original one place it on top um, they are the same size in diameter and also if we put them both on the floor they're the same height as well they have the same bolt pattern 4 by 100 so these are completely uh, identical so I got the two rotors and a pack of uh, these are metallic brake pads uh, better than nothing uh, so I got the two rotors and the pair, the two pairs of brake pads, under sixty dollars, free shipping from Amazon, same price as what one rotor was going to cost me here locally. Uh, so I'll leave the link in the description if you guys have a Mitsubishi Coupe DE um, with you know this size rotors. These are it. Um, but yeah, so I already have this uninstalled. Before I start installing anything, I want to go ahead and just uh, clean these caliper and the bracket. Uh, I got some degreaser right here. I'll pour a little bit more into here. And a brush. So I'm just going to clean these parts real quick and use some high heat uh, resistant paint and um, just paint them before we start assembling. So let me just go ahead and start doing that.
All right, so here's the paint that I'm gonna use. It's the Rust-Oleum High Heat Ceramic Coating up to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. Gas and oil resistant, no peel promise, and adhesion guaranteed. So this is a flat black. Uh, be sure to read all the you know directions on how to use it. Uh, there's uh, dry times if the part is on a vehicle, you know, you know, to bake it a few minutes, or if it's off of the vehicle. Uh, so just follow the instructions on this one. I'm gonna apply a few coats on the uh, caliper bracket, and then I'm gonna hang it. That way I don't touch it. And then this one somewhere there, I put a wire so I could uh, not touch it as well and then just uh, spray the caliper. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I gave it a few coats right here on the can it says on the vehicle it says run uh, run at idle for 10 minutes then allow 20 minutes to cool run the vehicle at idle for 20 minutes then let cool for 20 minutes run vehicle at normal operating conditions for 30 minutes then allow vehicle to cool so just short drives uh, a little bit of heat at a time um, let it cool and then you know repeat the process eventually it'll bake to where you don't need any more uh you know break in or anything like that the paint will dry on its own and it should last a very long time it stands heat up to 2000 degrees fahrenheit and it won't peel it's a flat black so it's just a very nice caliper all right guys so it's been at least half an hour i'm gonna start Assembling the brakes. So first is the rotor Make sure it sits all the way in and then our Like this uh, brake caliper uh, bracket
we'll come back and tighten those. All right, so <clears throat> just be sure to apply some brake grease to all the contact points, like these uh, stainless steel chimps, front and back, and right here in the back of your uh, brake pad, not the face of it. So. And one final spot is the back of the rotor. your slide pins. All right, there you go. So uh, the brake caliper installed, uh, like I said, just make sure you add some uh, grease onto the fittings right here behind the brake pad and on your little uh, slide pins. That way, uh, when you press the brake, the caliper has a chance to relax and not always uh, create friction on your brake disc. That way you don't finish your brakes too quick. So lubricate those pins. Other than that, I'm just going to, you know, put all the lug nuts back on the spacer. Three more. I have one in there. And then put the wheel and the lug nuts on the wheel. And we should be done. Those uh, little brake rotors looking pretty good. Brand new pad. So here is the one of the brand new brake pads right here compared to the old one. There you have it. There you have it. So, brake job complete. There you go. Once we lower the car, I'll go ahead and finish tightening the lug nuts. All right guys, brake job complete. We installed a brand new rotor and brake pads. We painted the caliper as well. 
with the Rust-Oleum High Heat Paint on this one like I said just dry for about 10 minutes and then let it cool for about 20 uh, again dry for about 20 minutes let it cool for another 20 minutes and after that it should be good for those um, uh, you know for the baking time after that just you should be good uh, normal driving um, other than that the wheel spacers and the wheels lug nuts should be tightened about 85 90 pounds um, this car originally comes with 13 inch wheels right here I have a 17 inch wheel uh, these are from a mini Cooper RS uh, 4 by 100 uh, bolt pattern these are 17 by 7s uh, R99s and um, so yeah the brake rotors themselves for a Mitsubishi Mirage like a DE coupe a two-door um, on this model it has the 9.29 inch in diameter and the ones that come with the 14 inch stock wheels those have the 10.08 diameter rotors so I'll leave the links for these uh, rotors and brake pads themselves in the description so you guys can find them if you guys need them uh, other than that this brake job is very similar if not the same it's just a general uh, way of doing most mostly every vehicle is done the same a few little tips you can um, open the the brake reservoir over here brake fluid reservoir and when you push the piston on the caliper back in it allows the fluid to come back over here it's a bit um, contaminated so I might as well replace the fluid as well I'll do that later on uh, I'm gonna do the other side on my own time uh, but for now I just wanted to show you this one and you know pretty happy with the brake kit that I bought fairly cheap and everything fits well no problems it comes with everything you need as far as the rotors brake pads and the some brake grease it doesn't come with any of the uh, stainless steel chimps but you can reuse the same ones that's not a problem there so All right, so I just finished the passenger side. There's the brand new rotor, caliper, and the bracket painted with high heat paint, ceramic paint. Uh, so it is done. The other side is done as well. I had the reservoir opened uh, just to allow the fluid to go up. Eventually, I'm, I am going to, you know, clear out that uh, reservoir and put some fresh dot three fluid. Uh, but other than that, you know, the car is complete. I do have a few more videos coming up for the car. I'm just gathering some parts together. Uh, but other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys on my next video. Peace out.